The motion of objects in 3D space is a key factor when enjoying 3D content, such as movies and games. Up to now, 3D content production has processed stereo content to achieve viewing comfort in a temporally coherent way, but no approach has yet considered the effects of binocular disparity changes over time. Consider this animation of a flying balloon. The scene disparity is too large to achieve viewing comfort. Applying a stereo manipulation that compresses disparity leads to comfortable viewing, but distorts the perceived speed. We present an approach to remedy this. Here you see a slice through a space-time cube of disparity for the balloon scene. The front of the cube shows the image content, the depth of the cube denotes time, and gray values depict disparity. Note how disparity was changed in space-time to achieve comfort. Here the same cube again. Our approach detects such changes using a perceptual model of disparity velocity and corrects them. Here, both the classic and our approach left and right next to each other. Perceptual scaling is used to compare disparity velocities. Here, the plane spanned by all pairs of disparity velocities. We use weber fechner scaling from physical to perceptual units. Our optimization compares disparity velocities in this space and ignores the imperceptible details, which are marked in blue. Here, an asteroid in 3D motion with excessive disparity. The same content with reduced disparity but altered motion in depth. The scene after our correction. The time-space cube again. Note the disparity discontinuity we detect and repair. We demonstrate the effectiveness of our approach in a game scenario. Participants were asked to click the position where a ball hits the ground. We find that using our approach can improve the aiming performance, in particular for distant objects where the changes of size are less pronounced. In this final scene, we show a running elephant, whose shape deforms, and thus the change size cue is less reliable. Here is the same scene with manipulation and with our approach. Thanks to our GPU implementation in combination with space-time upsampling, we can find an optimized stereo motion even for complex deformations and camera motions, such as seen in this final space-time slicing. Thank you.